Have you ever experienced FOMO or the fear of missing out? It's one of the most powerful and painful emotions that we feel as human beings. But depending on your mindset towards it and the context in which you're experiencing it, it can either be a driving force towards you taking greater risks or it can be a totally crippling distraction to productivity. That's why in this video, I wanna talk about the psychology of FOMO. I'm gonna start off by telling you a personal story. So back in 2014, I was absolutely obsessed with football or soccer for my American viewers. And in that year, there was the FIFA World Cup going on. Now I'd been watching almost every single game or at least watching the highlights of it. And when it got to the semi-final, it was Germany versus Brazil. Now on the day that this game was due to be played, my dad asked me if I wanted to go watch the new Transformers movie, Transformers Age of Extinction. And I thought to myself, well, I have been watching almost every game so far. Germany and Brazil, they're both very strong defensive teams and less strong attacking teams. I predict that this is probably going to be a pretty low scoring game. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll go watch the Transformers movie. I'll just catch the highlights afterwards. It's probably not gonna be that many. I go watch this movie with my dad. It is honestly one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Absolutely terrible movie. And as we're leaving the cinema, I pull out my phone to check the score on the game. And to my dismay, it was 7-1, Germany to Brazil. This was one of the biggest upsets in all of football history, an absolute humiliation for the Brazil team. And I can't believe I'd missed out on this historic moment in this sport that I was so obsessed with to go and watch this terrible Transformers movie with my father. What I was experiencing in this moment was the pain of missing out. And the fact that this memory has stuck with me so strongly after all of these years suggests how powerful this emotion was at the time because we're able to recall memories better the stronger the emotion is. And so it begs the questions, why would humans evolve in a way to have this extremely powerful pain of missing out and therefore the accompanying fear of missing out and the fear of having that pain again? Well, there's a few reasons why we experience FOMO and that's what we're gonna be exploring in today's video. So there are several reasons why people experience FOMO but one reason is very closely related to a popular behavioral science principle called loss aversion. Loss aversion says that we experience the pain of losing far more than the pleasure of gaining. Rather famously, some studies suggest that we feel the pain of losing twice as strongly as the pleasure of gaining. And FOMO, or what behavioral scientists call regret aversion, is very closely related to that. We feel the pain of missing out on something far more than the pleasure of actually being there. And that's why the pain of missing out or regret is such a powerful emotion when we experience it. In fact, studies in neurobiology have shown that anticipation of regret is one of the strongest drivers of our decision-making, which makes sense. People who are able to anticipate regret in their decision-making are less likely to make bad decisions. And so from an evolutionary point of view, it makes sense for our brains to have developed in a way to be highly sensitive to potentially regretful decisions. But in a more modern context, FOMO or regret aversion can actually be quite harmful to our decision making. Think about if you're at university and you have a bunch of friends going out for a party. Do you want to go join them or do you go work on your assignment or do something more productive or even just get a good night's sleep? This is a really common dilemma that people often have to weigh up with themselves. Do I wanna spend the night being productive and doing things that are gonna be beneficial for me long-term? Or do I wanna to go to this party because maybe, just maybe something amazing will happen. Maybe I'll fall in love with the person of my dreams. Maybe I'll just have this amazing night. Maybe I'll miss out on some hilarious moment that my friend does and I'm not there to go and support them. That is regret aversion, this anticipation of regret, this anticipation of something that you might have missed out on if you don't go attend this event. But the problem with that kind of thinking is that then we engage in many behaviors that don't benefit us in the long run. We end up going to these events, going to these parties that aren't very productive because we have this fear of missing out. So if that kind of scenario sounds like you, then here are a couple of strategies that you can use to overcome this sense of FOMO guiding your poor decision making. One technique is to simply just accept outcomes. We can't change the decisions that we've already made, but we can be more accepting of the outcomes. If you do decide to not go to this party and something hilarious does happen that you missed out on, then just accept that that's the outcome. Rather than pondering it and wondering, oh, what if, or if only I ended up going to that party, I would have been there for this amazing moment. Just just accept that you weren't there and that you maybe did something else instead and that's totally fine. Another strategy that you can use to overcome FOMO before you make the decision is to use a kind of reference point in order for trying to gauge what that experience is really likely to be. Thinking about the party example again, if you're feeling this strong sense of FOMO, like, oh, if I don't go to this party, I might miss out on this amazing thing that might happen. Think about all the other parties that you've been to in the past. Were they really that fun? Were they really that amazing for you? For me personally, the majority of clubs and parties that I went to were just not really that good a time at all. It's pretty boring, it's sweaty, it's smelly, 
early and you end up getting really tired and hungover the next day, which is not a great experience. So by thinking about that reference group, you can then make a more accurate prediction of what your experience is going to be like if you go out on that particular night. It's probably going to be somewhere in the same ballpark, and if that's a pretty low bar, then maybe you'll feel less regret aversion because you know it's probably going to be rubbish. However, on the flip side of things, regret aversion or FOMO can actually be a powerful driving force to us taking more risks. For example, you might be someone who really struggles to put themselves out there, who really struggles to ask for things, who really struggles to engage in social experiences. If that sounds like you, then maybe embracing FOMO and embracing regret aversion might actually be a positive effect on your life. It can act as this powerful driving force to get you to go out and do things and take risks and meet people that you otherwise wouldn't have and that could lead to all kinds of knock-on positive benefits. So that's the psychology of FOMO. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something new or you found it interesting. If you did, can you please give me a thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. We're rapidly approaching 10,000 subscribers and I have a super special video planned for when we reach 10,000 subscribers. So can you please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.